Hello healers, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today we have a fun pick a card video and this one is all about what Cupid wants you to know. Okay, your angel, the Cupid, the angel of love, it's here trying to send you some messages. Maybe you are just not listening or maybe you're already hearing something but you're not sure if it's the right thing for you, if it's the right person for you, they're pointing you at some direction and you're not sure. This is the video for you okay just wanted to you to have a bit of fun before valentine's day and uh, you know whenever you watch this if you wanted to have a message from the angel of love you know this message is for you timeless anyway whenever you watch this we are just about to get to the valentine week anyway so just some quick message for you whether you have someone or not okay these messages are for you so this is going to be group number one two and three one is here they're all cupids here okay guys i'll bring it close here to you and hopefully you can see this is the silver okay silver the second one is the white cupid and the third one is the pink cupid very cute so hopefully this will help you will be, bring some message here that's something you're trying to manifest into your life or something you maybe not know that you need to hear but hopefully it helps you in some way and like always guys my details the cards that i use a way for you to support this channel the timestamp everything will be below so do contact me if you want something very specific for your situation if you want a private reading i do private readings as well in any case i hope this helps you out as always let me know leave me a comment subscribe if you're not yet guys you know consider subscribing like this video and uh, there are many other fun videos here for you and you can always request as well if there's something you want me to add here a specific pick a card i'll add your ideas here okay i'll make it into a video here for you i am always having as well every thursday 6 p.m european time you know irish time I'm having live readings, okay? Just in case if you need, I'm having every Thursday. So if you want to join me as well, okay? But in any case, guys, just concentrate. If you have someone or if you don't have someone, just what, you know, the angel of love, the Cupid wants you to know what, what's the message they have here for you, okay? Again, group number one, two, and three, timestamp below. Thanks for watching. Group number one, if you chose the silver Cupid, we leave here together with the other ones and what is cupid trying to let you know trying to tell you we have here quite a few cards okay guys we have patience and we have kindness i read the full message in a bit we also have uh, many cards we have it is safe for you to love also love yourself first and we also have patience is virtue and possess self-confidence there is also have faith i'll read the full message in a bit okay choose love and we also have music okay very interesting here group one straight away okay the cupid wants you to know all right so it's asking you to have some patience and kindness and i feel like this is mainly with yourself okay guys i feel like this patience is with yourself because you are able to let the universal energy of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm Okay, to not be, be stressing if you are not in a relationship and you try to manifest something or if you are in a relationship and you want a commitment or you want something to move forward or you're not communicating and you want something, someone back. Okay, guys, it's really asking you here for patience because things will, will happen, will transform in the, right, in the right timing, okay? And to not stress out because don't forget the universe is conspiring to help you as well. Just allow, okay? Cupid is around, the angels are around to help yourself. Just have a little bit of patience. And I feel like patience with the situation that you are at the moment and patience with yourself, okay? And kindness is here. They wanted to tell you, you are a humanitarian made of love and you are able to share that energy with others, okay? They know that you have kindness on you and you are ready maybe to love someone in case you don't have someone or ready to, 
you know, embrace this relationship that you are, whatever your situation right now, guys, like always take what resonates, but they are asking you, you know, the kindness, they know that you are this kind person that is ready to love with you, you can share with others, and they want you to remember that as well, okay, you are a kind person, be kind to yourself in the first place, and you're able to share this with others as well, okay, you are ready for that, and they know, so just have patience, they are working, okay, to, to help you as well. And they see here, it's, it's safe for you to love. Okay, the message here is open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, which is love, the highest energy of its love, okay? It's safe for you to love. I feel like here, like um, they're telling you that uh, in case you have any any pain, any hurts from your past, okay, any previous relationships that uh, made you stop maybe believing a bit in love or believing in yourself, someone that's taking away your confidence, okay, they're just telling you, you it's safe for you to love, okay, they, maybe you have been hurt in the past, it has been just uh, maybe a way for you to learn something, lessons for you, but they wanted to tell you that it's safe, okay, you don't need to worry all the time to just think that everybody's going to be like your previous relationship okay it's not the same people are different and they're asking you to have patience because they are working in this transformation this period to bring someone that actually you deserve or to transform this person that you have in your life already okay so that it is safe okay you can trust again and love yourself first okay the message here is your self-respect makes you more romantic attractive Okay, so just to remind you that you need to love yourself in order to allow love to enter your life as well. And I feel like this is connected with it's safe to love you, like you need maybe some kind of healing from your past, a previous relationship, something that, uh, you know, didn't bring into a better, a good place because, you know, someone maybe have hurt you or you ended in a bad way your previous relationship to to just give it to the higher powers, give it to this angel of love, okay? Cupid is really the angel of love. You have angels, higher powers around you. So it's really asking you to release, in a way, your past, okay? And uh, allow yourself to love again. In case you are alone and you are not in a relationship, but it could be that you are already in a relationship, but you're not giving yourself 100% because you're still holding luggage of luggage of something that did happen to you in your previous relationships or even in this own relationship maybe you have gone through some struggles and maybe it's a transformational period here like the the patience you know have patience to to transform this own this this relationship that you are right now and uh, allow you to to get to a better place but remember the self-love okay when you have this self-respect the love for yourself and knowing that you deserve the best, you deserve the love, have kindness and patience with yourself, you will allow this to open, you know, the doors to open in this relationship to grow or this relationship to show up in your life. And patience is a virtue, is here. So patience again coming here twice, guys. You know that I don't pick and choose, I just shuffle these cards here. So it's coming here again. So it's like, I feel some of you maybe in need to listen this patience again patience patience okay and uh, patience with yourself like i said and with the situation okay things will improve here that's what i feel like maybe it has not been always easy but things are moving okay and possess self-confidence and i feel like this self-confidence again connected here with the self-respect the self-love okay love yourself first remember that even if you are in a relationship you need to put some time for yourself, okay? Because you can only really love some someone else when you love ourselves, when we respect ourselves, when we have this self-confidence. And self-confidence to speak up, you know, and uh, not just accept everything and uh, be able to communicate with love, but be able to be there with for the other person, okay? And you have here, choose love. You always have choice. Make yours with love, okay? Very interesting here, guys, with the choose love, okay? And I feel like this choose love is for in two ways here. Choose love for yourself, like I said, like have self-love and it will take care of yourself. And choose love in case you don't have someone in your life and you're afraid that you start again. Maybe some of you, like I said, have been hurt and you don't even want to give a chance. And the, the Cupid is here telling you, you know, you can choose love. You will have a chance again, okay? Make your choice with love and you'll be able to find the right person, the right direction, okay? We also have have faith and trust your faith in this situation. And again, bringing faith here, you know, connection with the higher powers, 
if you wanted to have faith in yourself and in the chance that you may give to someone else in your life or even the chance that you may give to your own relationship wherever you are if you wanted something better if you want to progress in this relationship if you want things to grow you know just have faith and in this situation that things will go to a better place okay i feel like some of you may not have someone at the moment and i feel like you ha you should have faith like work on yourself of course like self-love have some patience because I feel like the universe, the higher powers are working to bring this person for you, okay? So you can have faith and choose love and wait with patience and uh, things are happening on the right time and the doors will open. And I feel like for some of you that have someone already, maybe you're trying to bring this relationship into a better place, you're trying to work together, you know, trying to maybe commit or go to the next step of a relationship, getting more commitment or, you know, getting engaged or anything that you wanted to manifest in this relationship. And they are also asking you to choose love, but, you know, have faith. But just remember that you need to think about yourself as well, okay? Love yourself first, okay? And we also have music here. And the message is, listen carefully, for there may be a message in the music you hear. Music can lift your soul, rekindle memories, and charm fairies to your door. Lovely. Okay, guys, just in case, maybe you have been in a bad mood lately, or, you know, things are not very nice. And just put some music that uh, the higher powers, the angels, they can always use a music sometimes it's just one phrase in the music that they're actually trying to speak to you so it's sometimes when you feel like you listen to the same song over and over but then you finally hear like one specific word or sometimes a phrase that will talk to you that is the higher powers just trying to like give you that hint of hope of you know um anything that any message that they're trying to tell you so pay attention to the music you're listening as well okay and bring some music you know just some happiness into your life and i feel like for some of you for some reason came a message here for me that uh, you may have a chance to go somewhere that you have music that you will meet someone or even use music if you already have someone in your relationship to like have some time together you know listening to music you know having fun as well so very interesting here just came into my mind that as well Okay, just in case, guys, I did want to get one extra card here. I know there's loads of cards here and messages, but I wanted to get one extra card here for you guys. And, um, you know, just if there's anything else here for group one that we needed to, to hear, okay, regarding love, what Cupid still wants you to know, okay, we do have here pride. And I say, I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Beautiful, beautiful message here, guys. I'll leave it here for you to see so you have pride here have pride in yourself you what you have accomplished so far knowing that you deserve love you deserve to have a good relationship okay coming to you or progressing wherever you are at the moment okay the angels the cupid is also proud of you wherever you are right now what you have accomplished okay just remember that you can have patience and kindness they know that you are this kind person that deserves love and that you should really take time for yourself and love yourself first and other doors will open more romantic you know and uh, romantic attractive you'll become when you when you have self-love but definitely a bit of patience they're asking you to have here because i feel like they are working okay on your own someone for you or in your own relationship to bring this into a better place okay very interesting here guys i hope this helps you in some way and like always let me know leave me a comment Okay, subscribe if you're not yet, like this video, share, and um, as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed, and healing day. Thanks for watching. Group number two, if you choose the beautiful white Cupid, we live here. What Cupid wants you to know. We have quite a few cards, okay, guys? Unity. I'll read the full message in a bit. Integrity. Retreat. Let your friends help you interesting trust your intuition you are here for a reason we have ask for help we have uh, be in the present and dream of the future and we also have ask for help again okay
very interesting here guys you know that i don't pick and choose these cards i'm just seeing them here now with you and this is very interesting because you can see here already a couple of things repeating here okay so the cupid is really trying to communicate with here with you you know the angels the higher powers you know the angel of love here and unity okay straight away the message is you understand that love shared with another is in amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe okay guys so they wanted to to tell you that uh, they understand that uh, you know if you that you can share love you ha you have enough love that you can share with someone else and it can be a ripple effect and you know it can it can help you to love someone else and see things from a different perspective and help each other okay so if you have someone already or if someone is coming into your life they're just telling you that they know that you you can share your love with others and you can help you and someone else as well okay so they're telling you that here like like giving you confidence that you can have this love as well integrity okay they want to tell you that you demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with your every action so they really wanted to tell you that you can manifest the love if you don't have someone or manifest you know the relationship to the way you want here if you already have someone you know progressing going to maybe a, a commitment or whatever you're trying to manifest in this relationship they know that you can do that with your own actions so it will depend of you as well because you do have this action things that you can take but they also know that when you take this it will have this ripple effect okay guys so don't be afraid because when you start really sharing the love be there for someone you know be honest open and uh, you know maybe just uh, have the courage to confess your love to someone there will be some ripple effect here so there will be other you know the response that someone else will love you too so i feel like there will be or maybe someone of some of you have already someone in your life that you're trying to communicate or you didn't have the courage yet they're telling you there will be a ripple effect okay so it will be a back and forward here and we also have a retreat here it's time to disconnect from the world and i feel like if you have someone here is telling you that they will help you out to have some time here together okay to have this retreat this time going away some of you traveling and if you, this is not something that uh, was in your mind they are just asking you that uh, you should really organize to have a retreat a time away together okay because this will really have some beautiful benefits here for the two of you if you don't have someone this is really for me i feel like you have a chance to maybe travel or go somewhere you know that will help you first of all to build your self-confidence and i feel like when you are away maybe you'll have a chance to meet someone new okay so just pay attention guys if you have a chance to go somewhere okay soon enough and let your friends help you and ask for and accept support from others okay i feel like this here guys if is if you have um, an issue in your relationship you already have someone you know accept help as well okay don't be afraid and don't feel ashamed to ask for help you know sometimes we do need help to get to a better place and you will be glad that you did ask for help or maybe there is already someone trying to help you and you didn't accept but you know you can accept this because it's gonna be a benefit for you as well and i feel like for some of you who don't have someone I feel like there is a friend that maybe is trying to introduce you to someone or they will soon enough trying to introduce you to someone like trying to help you to get someone into your life you know something like that and i still i feel like you should accept okay because you may be surprised with what's gonna come to you so it could be the chance that you really are asking for but maybe you just didn't accept and funny enough you can see here this is repeating okay so it's saying here trust your intuition and in this case, I feel like some of you already know that uh, you need this time away, whether it's with someone that you already have in your life or just by yourself or going away to like re have some recharge. Okay, that uh, will be a chance for you to like concentrate on yourself. But I feel like automatically you will have a chance to meet someone or if you have already someone is really telling you trust your intuition okay maybe you're already feeling tired feel like you need to have some time together maybe you have been busy with work with school whatever you're doing your family okay and you have not been able to have time for each other and they started you you know do take that time okay and you will see some beautiful benefits of that and you are here for a reason and this here i really feel like this here 
for a reason. This here is where you are right now in your relationship or in your life, okay? Whether you have someone or not, you got to this point for a reason, okay? So just understand with your past as well, okay? There is some letting go, there is a forgiveness here from your past. You got here for a reason, okay? What have you learned so far? What can you take, okay, with your, to your next relationship or to this point on in your relationship? How can you grow here, okay? So they're telling you, you're here for a reason, okay? Don't beat yourself in case things didn't work so far or you are not happy where you are or even if you are happy what else can you do you know how can you progress how can you learn more about each other about yourself so they're telling you you're here for a reason it's not time to keep looking back so much it's really a time for looking forward okay and i feel like this is connected here with this card be in the present and dream of the future okay so when we dream everything is possible so i feel like it's really what i really feel with this one here like you got here for a reason what can you do now you know it's from now on so the present and dreaming in the future so be in the present what can you do that bring you happiness where can you go you know spending time with friends as well have having that uh, help from other friends okay the cupid really wants to tell you like be in the present live have fun and dream of your future if you don't have someone or if you have someone, just plan your future, you know, write it down, write down what you want, have goals. You can manifest, okay? In the present, you live and you're manifesting your future already, okay? You, because you're a dream, you write things down, you write goals. And uh, when you dream, everything is possible. So if you want a, a relationship, whether you don't have someone or you just wanted to get to a better place in your relationship, you want to progress, wherever you are, you want something, you know, you want more love, you want more romance, you want the commitment, you want engagement, you want marriage, whatever you want, okay? Dream, live in the present, enjoy the present, but manifest your future, okay? With your dreams. And ask for help. And you can see here, guys, help is coming here three times the word help. Well, you can see here, let your friends help you. Ask for help and ask for help is coming here again. You know, these are different decks and you can see here, the messages will be different. But really, the Cupid is here telling you, ask for help. And it could be help for friends and help like to the higher powers. You know, pray, like I said, manifestation. You know, don't uh, forget that you have this power as well. So ask for the help, okay? Higher powers, what do you believe? Okay, Cupid is, is telling you, ask because sometimes higher powers you know they're trying to to manifest things in your life and we don't even ask okay so they're waiting for you to ask as well and say here what do you really need be willing to accept support again guys it could be from a friend it could be from someone who have already offered you that help and you're not accepting or maybe you're afraid to ask for help okay don't be afraid they are willing be willing to accept the support okay and it's funny enough here, this this help coming three times, guys. So I really feel like some of you do need to accept the help. Or I feel like some of you who don't have someone and you have a friend who wants to introduce you to someone, like I was saying, I feel like this is a big chance for you to meet someone that you will be happy with. So don't uh, miss the opportunity, okay? Don't let this pass you by because it could be the chance that uh, they're trying to, to offer this help. So accept that, okay? We also have this other ask for help, which is saying angels are celestial beings who protect everyone. And the fairies say, now is the time for you to ask for angelic assistance. And I feel like the Cupid assistant here in this case. Okay, guys. So the angel of love asks for the help. What do you really want? If you have someone or not, if you wanted to try to manifest something to your life, be specific, you know, ask, pray, meditate, however you want to call, guys. Have some affirmations. Like I say, write things down. Man, you can manifest things here. I feel like you, you really got here for a reason, okay? And uh, there is a reason for you to move forward as well, okay? So live in the present, dream, manifest your future. But ask for help, okay, guys? And accept the help as well from others. Like I said, it could be like you're going to accept the help to help in your relationship, okay? If you already have some issues, maybe couples therapy, maybe someone that can give you good advice. You know the situation, of course, guys. Like, always take what resonates. But it could be that you don't have someone and there is a friend that will have a chance to help you out, okay? Or maybe ju they just want to... Maybe something completely simple like... um 
a friend is asking you to go out and travel with them like the retreat and then you'll have a chance to meet someone or maybe a chance to you know have time for each other if you already have a relationship so it really is, is a chance here guys to get some help and move forward that's what i feel i don't want to get one extra card here guys you know like we, i know we have plenty of cards but if the cupid wants to give you one last message here you know what do they want to tell you okay happiness and the card here is i am aware that being happy means that i am on the right path beautiful okay they're telling you that happiness is there for you is on your path okay and accept like i said accept the help and maybe you're bringing this happiness into your life so i feel like cupid the higher powers the angel of love is trying to tell you okay happiness is on its way for you you understand where you have been and why you're here right now you know what you have learned and uh, live in the present leave the past behind and you dream of a future you manifest this beautiful future for you okay this is what i have here for your group too there's a beautiful card here okay cupid really have this happiness waiting for you accept the help okay very interesting here so like always if it helps you out let me know leave me a comment subscribe if you're not yet like this video share you know and uh, like always i wish you a lovely blessed and healing day thanks for watching group number three if you chose the pink cupid we live here to help us out what is Cupid trying to tell you? Expression. I read the full messages in a bit, okay? Ownership. Calling in your soulmate. Wow. Forgiving and learning. Be yourself. Abundance is your right. Beautiful. We also have. Um, new love for some reason you guys got three cards so i'll take it all take a chance on love spiritual connection wow. and we have protect your dreams beautiful beautiful cards here group three straight away your cupid okay the highest power the angel of love trying to tell you expression you are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love okay beautiful guys i feel like maybe you are trying to manifest love here for a while maybe for some of you trying to manifest someone into your life or maybe trying to really bring this relationship if you are already with someone into a better place a more committed like the next step maybe you're trying to really move forward here and grow okay and they're telling you the expression okay you are ready you're ready to manifest this but how okay it's with your thoughts okay with transforming them into acts of love you do need to like concentrate here i feel like some of you need to focus your thoughts to just take away any negative thing that could be coming here into your life or any feeling like you don't deserve love or someone hurt you in the past you're never gonna find love just to take away any negativity like that or anything like um, if you're already in a relationship that you could be saying to yourself or even sometimes we just it just comes the thought into our mind like this is it it's never gonna get any better it's really not the case okay it's, they're asking you here your thoughts will transform okay the, the, your thoughts will become this reality as well so just be careful how you think and you can manifest this as well okay we have ownership you acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons this is very beautiful and really telling you why you have come this far okay what have you learned the good things and the bad things what are the bad things and the patterns that you want to leave behind and what are the good things that you know they are working for you and you should continue to you know act on it and continue to do the same because they're they're bringing you something good so if you are in a relationship and you know that uh, you know some kind of behavior or some kind of attitude will always bring a fight or a situation that you wouldn't be happy with each other okay this is a pattern maybe something that you need to cut away and something that is good have you noticed that uh, when you have a little bit uh, more time to each other you give some maybe a bit of more attention just send that uh, message to, to each other during the day something simple that you do some acts of kindness to each other will bring you to to a better place then this is what you need to concentrate you know concentrate on the good things and if you don't have someone okay if you're just trying to manifest love into your life don't worry guys you have this power okay of your thoughts i feel like the 
transforming understanding again like the patterns of someone that you have chosen over and over didn't work okay the type of relationship the type of person that have been into your life was always similar maybe it's time to change okay it's time to learn okay with something that didn't work and try something different and see if it happens something different then and the the things that have been worked so far okay do you have time for yourself are you having some self-love having time for you this is a good thing then continue doing even if you don't have someone doesn't matter okay you should have time for yourself but what are they i feel the cupid is really focusing here for you is they are calling in your soulmate okay guys so this is very important your prayers affirmations and visual visualizations help bring you together okay guys this is very important if you don't have someone okay you have now this time maybe the time of the year maybe it's just uh, happens that we can concentrate and focus a bit more on love and the angel of love here okay your cupid is telling you that if you don't have someone they're really calling in your soulmate okay you i feel like connected with the the thoughts here and how you can manifest with your thoughts okay it's telling you prayers affirmations this is the time to bring this person into your reality okay so you have the help now you have the chance the cupid is really telling you that they are here to help you to bring this person into your reality your soulmate guys okay so if you don't have someone this is your chance okay bringing this person to your reality like i said leaving the bad thoughts behind the negativity and really focusing on the good thing okay you're gonna bring someone who deserves you who you deserve and someone who's gonna treat you well into your life okay this is the time you can manifest these prayers affirmation visual visualization can help you this with this and they are here to help you they're telling you they are here to bring this into your reality if you already have someone you can bring this relationship into like a soulmate connection okay guys so again same thing prayers affirmations visualizations write down your goals okay and uh, concentrate on the good things that you can do okay like i said here a, a misdeeds and accomplishments alike so if if it's a misdeed it's something that didn't work to really cut away and something that is working to really focus on that and it's also saying here forgiving and learning and this card is here for a reason okay guys the message here is as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moment beautiful okay i feel like this is here because you would you do need it to forgive yourself and learn whether you are in a relationship or not, like with uh, what have happened so far, like I said, previous relationships, you know, things that uh, are patterns that didn't help you so far, or in this relationship, things that are happening, or maybe, you know, you have gone through some bad times together and things that maybe you need to forgive each other, you know, for bad fights or things that they have said to each other. And it's time to forgive and learn, okay? Because we can only move forward when we learn something. Otherwise, we will keep repeating the same mistakes, you know? So just make sure, you know, if the other person wants to work together as well with you, this is the chance that you can have now. The Cupid is telling you, take this chance, okay? For forgiving, learning, and moving forward, okay? So release, heal the past. So you can experience more love in your present moment. So don't miss the opportunity to learn here. So you can bring this person into your reality or you can move forward in the relationship that you have. Okay, not getting stuck in that situation over and over without learning. And be yourself, guys. It's here. The Cupid is telling you, be yourself. Okay, because this is the chance for you to finally you know, uh, express yourself and be true to yourself, you know, be honest with the other person if you have someone in your life and be honest with yourself. What do you actually want? What do you want? Who do you want in your life? Okay, this is the chance. Abundance is your right. They're telling you, okay? Don't uh, treat yourself like you don't deserve something good. Don't, you don't deserve something better. Better someone better in your life. Someone who will treat you well, okay? Understand, be yourself, be true to yourself and think consider it okay what you really want here you deserve the best okay they're telling you that you deserve the best coming into your life as a new person or in, already in this relationship okay you can manifest this as well remember thoughts visualizations i feel like you are doing the work here guys into bringing this into your reality as well okay together with the higher powers but i feel like it, it has something to do with uh, the, your mind frame as well the way you you really organize your thoughts 
your prayers okay you can manifest a new relationship or a new phase in the relationship because we also have here new love okay the message here is embrace an opportunity for love in your work prospects or for spiritual growth okay very interesting here guys new love new love is very clear okay if you happen if you don't have someone here it's a chance for you to get someone new into your life but it's also a chance here for you to get into a new phase in this relationship guys you can manifest a new phase in this relationship i feel like okay and we also have here take a chance on love when we love our lives are changed forever so i feel like in case you have been hurt in the past and you didn't even want to take a chance okay this card here look at this beautiful picture here they're going together here and it's like progressing moving finally forward okay together if you already have someone or finally moving like meeting someone and being able to go to a different phase in your life here okay where you believe in love again take the chance even if you have been hurt in the past okay they're they're angels they cupid higher powers are calling your soulmate okay so maybe have learned with your past relationships with your maybe your karmic relationships that come that have come into your life just to teach you something learn with that so you can move forward okay take a chance don't be afraid as well okay don't create walls that you never take a chance again any spiritual connection okay guys a relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime i feel like this very connected with the soulmate again guys this beautiful beautiful card here i feel like you guys will have a big chance here to meet someone if you don't have someone already okay and it's gonna be the one the connection that you're waiting for the soulmate okay this new love really beautiful coming to you if you already have someone guys i feel like you can get into like a soulmate connection like a new phase in this relationship okay spiritual connection here you can get if you really put your mind into it okay you will need to really focus here and bring this into your reality with your thoughts with your affirmations with the way you treat each other if you already have someone the way the, the words you use to speak with each other okay so learn the things guys what didn't work so far let go okay and you have protect your dreams the message here you are the guardian of your precious dreams and they are safe in your care keep them close to your heart until you're ready to release them and i feel like this is connected here guys with uh, the the prayers the things that you want to bring into your reality the things that you want to manifest your dreams okay protect them don't uh, leave them behind thinking that this is never going to happen to you forgetting the dreams that you had about uh, maybe getting married one day maybe having kids one day maybe just getting into a committed relationship having someone next to you okay if this is something that you always wanted if it's part of your dreams guys you can bring this into your reality okay and if you are in a relationship that you're not happy with you can you can change that okay just believe in yourself and understand that you your abundance is your right and abundance in all the areas okay relationship is one of them so you deserve to have abundance a happy relationship in your life and you can manifest this okay i do want to get one extra card here i know there are loads of cards guys but i felt like getting extra card here for you guys just one extra message here you know just to see what else is coming here for you we got here trust okay guys i accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly beautiful this inner voice guys this wisdom you know this inner wisdom it it is really connected with the higher powers as well you know the angel of love the cupid here today really like trying to tell you sometimes they just send that quick message into your mind okay and you should really trust this inner voice this inner wisdom that you have okay to bring you like sometimes this inner voice will tell you okay don't use that that word okay that word with someone else or that word with yourself or that phrase that negativity okay trust that Okay, just to continue on the path of uh, having that positive mind frame so you can manifest these prayers, affirmations, visualizations, okay, will help you bring all you want, okay, together into manifesting into your reality, okay? You deserve the forgiveness, the healing, and the abundance is your right, guys. Don't forget that, okay? So definitely Cupid wants to bring you beautiful happiness here, guys, okay? A connection, a real a spiritual connection, okay? Whether you have someone or not, something is really coming into your life here. Trust, 
okay trust your inner voice your inner wisdom here they're trying to bring it to you as well send in your messages and protect your dreams guys okay if it's something you wanted don't give up on it you deserve the best you have the right to have abundance in your life in other areas okay beautiful message here for you guys i really hope it helps in some way and like always if it does let me know leave me a comment okay you know i'm always happy to hear from you and i really wish you a lovely blessed and healing day thanks for watching